You're listening to Good Morning Gwyneth, a division of ABK Media Group, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County every day at 9 a.m. Southern living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another edition of Good Morning Gwinnett. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney. So happy to be here with you this morning. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Happy hump day to all of you out there in Gwinnett land and around the world. Hope you having a, hope your day started off well and I hope you continue to have a great day. So listen, I got some good stuff coming for you. You know, one thing I love about Gwinnett County is this is one of the things because it's too many. That there is a lot of events around here. It, there's a lot of events in Gwinnett, Georgia. We went out on um, Sunday. Um, my friends were here, and we decided you know, we're going to go out and just hang out for a minute. And um, and she said to me, "It's stuff, you know, it's stuff to do on Sunday." I said, "Girl, it's stuff to do down here every day of the week. Like you can find so many things to do. If if you can't find something to do and you're bored in Georgia, I'm not going to say all of Georgia. I'm going to say the Metro Atlanta area. If you live in Metro Atlanta and you're bored." That means you're a boring person because there are tons of things to do daily here. Now, I can't tell you that some of the places close up a little bit early on the day. However, if you wanted to go there and get in some things before 8 o'clock, there was a lot of things going on, a lot of places you can visit. We happened to go to this really nice uh, place over in um, Punt City Market down in Atlanta called uh, Breeza. It was a very nice Italian restaurant. Just had a really nice time. They actually closed at 9 o'clock. But there's a lot of places around here. So I got a lot of events that I'm going to talk about today, things that's coming up, business events, um, just things that you just may want to check out because you're trying to clean up for the spring and all that stuff. But before I do that, we're going to get to the horoscopes. And today is March 27, 2019. These are your horoscopes brought to you by Michael Thiessen. He is the astrologer who uh, provides the daily horoscopes for you, and I'm, I I just read them. So we're going to kick it off right now with Aries. Aries, you need to make changes that will raise your self-esteem, such as a new hairstyle or a new image. Don't put limitations on yourself. You may need to make a choice. All right, make a choice, Aries. Lift the self-esteem up a little bit. Taurus, your energetic personality will make you the center of attention at social gatherings. You can come into money that you don't necessarily work for. I know that's the truth. Everybody wants some of that. Your ability to come up with good solutions for problems related to work will no doubt help you in getting your promotion. Okay, so there's a promotion on the rise for you, Taurus, and some unexpected money that you ain't got to work for. (laughs) Isn't that a good way to start your day off? Gemini, don't believe everything you hear. You can make new friends and get involved in hobbies su- successfully. Your personal partner may be less than willing to accommodate you today. Don't get mad. Just keep it moving, Gemini. Cancer, don't let lovers cost you money or take advantage of you. Conflicts over joint finances are likely. Networking will be ne- will be a necessity. So listen, don't fight over money today, Cancer. But get out there and network so you can meet some new people. Leo, don't let your partner put you down. Your high energy should be spent pleasing your mate. Get involved in groups that can offer you intellectual stimulation. Okay, Leo, you need a little intellect stimulation there, so check it out. Virgo, do not hesitate to help elders with legal documents that are too confusing for them. Don't count on getting any help from those you live with. Your accomplishment could exceed your expectations if you mix a little business with a little pleasure. So listen, Virgo, you got to have some pleasure, mixing that with some business, and everything is going to go smooth. Listen, I'm back. I'm going to go to a song, and we're going to come back and finish up the next six uh, horoscopes for you. Stay tuned. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Living life with the lies 
Hey, 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 welcome back to Good Morning Gwinnett. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the daily horoscopes for March 27, 2019. We are up to Libra. Libra, channel your efforts into achieving your goals. Find an outlet for any mounting frustrations. Consider a creative hobby. You would do well with clients today. You're going to have a good day with clients, Libra. That's a good thing. Anytime you can make your client happy, that's a great thing. Scorpio, go out with friends and avoid the situation on the home front. There could be disappointment regarding investments. Try to visit friends or relatives you don't get to see often. It's nice to see friends and family you don't see often because sometimes you may not ever get that chance again. I got some some really disturbing news right before I went on air about someone that I know that just, just got sick like all of a sudden. And, you know, we had to pray for the family and um prayerfully. Everything turns out okay, but it's not looking very good right now. So if you haven't visited friends and family that in a long time that you haven't seen, go out today, Scorpio, and visit some because you just never know. I hate to be a little grim, but, you know, I, I got that news, and it's always, it's always, um, well, anyway, let's go. Let's move on. Sagittarius, your partners could also use some time alone with you. You may have difficulties with someone who lives with you. You can make amends by taking them somewhere special. Sagittarius, take somebody somewhere special today. Make them feel special. Capricorn, they will jump at the chance to do something without. They will jump at the chance to do something without you if it sounds like more fun. <laughs> That's not fun. That's not good to know. Unexpected bills will be impossible for you to pay. Uncertainties regarding your home and family are evident. Aquarius, don't let your close don't let those close to you get under your skin. Younger relatives may seek your advice. You'll be able to discuss your ambitions with your mate. That's nice. Nice to talk to your mates about what you're trying to do. And my fellow fish, Pisces, move forward if you want to turn your life around. Don't agree to make any of those cosmic alterations you've been considering. Self improvement could bring amazing results. Self improvement. That's a big thing. Um, move forward with your dream. Turn your life around, Pisces. That's what I'm doing. I'm always moving forward. Let's get on to our People Helping People segment of the day. This is a segment where I like to uh, give a shout-out to nonprofits that are doing great things in the community to help people move forward with their lives. We talk it, it, we talk a lot about helping people because without some of these uh, organizations, there's a lot of things that, did, that, that just won't get done. So it's it's uh, cool that I can shout them out and talk about what they do and how they're helping people because we all need a hand sometimes, you know. So my shout out today goes to Serenity House. Uh, they're located in Beaufort. Serenity House is an organization that helps with alcohol um, recovery. Um, they do AA meetings there. They do over 40 AA meetings a week held at many times during the day and by different groups within the Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous and Al Nunn. Listen, Alcohol, when overdone like anything, is a disease. And with any disease, you want to seek help. Serenity House is a nonprofit in Beaufort, Georgia, that helps you if you have a drinking problem. The first step into getting help with this is is admitting that you have a drinking problem. And so if you know you drink on a daily basis, two, three, four, five times a day, you may just have a drinking problem. You want to go out, you want to get some help before it becomes extreme to the point where it causes you to lose things like your family and your job, your, you know, your house and and your, your, just your way of life. And so that's why Serenity House is important. And um, they offer a lot of programs. They have programs like uh, Fun for, uh, for the Fun of It. It's a group uh, program. First Things First, that's a women's program. Buford's Men Primary Purpose Group, that's um, that's for men. Men Chain Gang, that's a men's program. Seven Up Group, uh, we are not a glum lot, big book study, Al Nun, flip side, and they also have um, Al Nun in Spanish. So if you are a Spanish speaking person and you need um, some of these groups, you can go out there and, you know, get the help that you need. Don't be ashamed. You know, you want to get help if it's out there and it's out there. They're out there. They want to help you. They have classes today, groups today starting at 10 a.m. They had one this morning at seven o'clock, but you missed that one already. And if you hear this, uh, if you listen to the show right now, and you can make this one first thing first group that starts at 10 a.m. Uh, Al Nuns for Spanish speaking starts at 10:30 a.m. Uh, for the fun of it is an open meeting. It starts at noon, 12:15. Then they got evening groups tonight, 6:30 p.m. Buford Men's Group, uh, Purpose Group, 
primary purpose group, that's at 630. Uh, from Bridge to Shore meeting, that's at 6.30 also. Flipside, Alnon meeting, that's at 8 o'clock. For the Fun of It group meetings, and this is for beginners, it's at 8 o'clock tonight as well. They just have a whole list of stuff. And if you want to know uh, more information about how to contact them and get involved, now listen, it's a nonprofit, and they are looking for donations for to keep for upkeep of the clubhouse, for updating the chairs, and, and general equipment and operations costs. They are looking for donations for those things. So it's a nonprofit. They've pretty much survived on donations. So if you can help out in any way possible, um, I invite you to do so. They're located at 4297 Buford Drive, Northeast Suite 1D, and that's in Buford, Georgia. And they're located behind the Taco Bell. Again, that address is 4297 Buford Drive, Northeast Suite 1D, Buford, Georgia, located behind the Taco Bell. And you can visit them on the web at serenityhouseofbuford.org. Again, that's serenityhouseofbuford.org. They need the support, so if you can't support at all, go and support them. If you can't support but you need their help, they're there to help you because, after all, we are human. Next song, I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Everybody else's dream, what a comfort it would be. All along, stand strong, the way it ought to be. But you can never walk alone on your way to being free. We're only human after all. Want to give that out to 
accomplished they were honored the 14th annual Val, uh, valor public safety award a uh, ceremony those guys work really hard put the odds on the line every day for us when they are five fires and and handling time and you know rushing people to the hospital they put their lives on the line so it's really nice to know that you're appreciated so i want to say thank you for your support thank you for your protection to all of those who were honored yesterday and even those who were not honored we know that you guys are out there they fighting to make it here in Gwinnett, get people to the hospital on time, now five they were on it yesterday. A lot of times why do I need it yesterday by honor? We have a lot of things we do here. Like, I'm going to be doing in April. I don't even know they have something. I'm looking forward to it because that's going to give me the opportunity to learn about the government, how each office works, you know, things like that. And I'm looking forward to being out there meeting the people. And, and these are the type of things that are in the county. And I'm really excited about moving forward with that. But congrats. Who were on yesterday? Um, first responders, firefighters, everybody. Listen, stripers are catering partner to eliminate plastic straws and they cool way still. They're trying to get rid of plastic. Plastic is one of the things that's killing the earth right now. And the stripers are saying, you know what? We're going to try to eliminate uh, uh, plastic straws. And I actually saw a really cool paper straw one time. Um, and I was like, straw get out of paper. It was literally made out of, out of paper. And so I think that's good, too, because it's the little things that we do, it may not seem like a lot, but it's a lot. So when you think of the paper straws and create things that's biodegradable, that's not going to harm the earth, it's just the little things that you do. And stripers, the Gwinnett stripers are doing a little bit more, partnering with professional sports catering, um, to change in its policies and to eliminate straws and plastic lids from concession stands at Kuwait Field. That's great. So kudos to you guys for understanding and you know knowing these type of things are the things that harm or something about it's the things, y'all. It's the it's like the compound a compound effect. It's a Byron Hardy compound effect. And you don't think it, it's a lot of that adds up. That may be small, but when you think about the number of people who go out to cool radio all, every summer to enjoy baseball and all of the things, uh, all of the food and the plastic and stuff that get gets thrown away, um, and and that stuff just goes into some kind of dump um, dump site to, because there's nothing to do with it. It's not by all the gray but it doesn't go back into the earth. So that stuff just kind of goes somewhere and stays somewhere, and and it, it harms the earth. There's a job fair, the Goodwill Goodwill Youth Spring Job Fair today, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, Join Gwinnett County Public Library and Goodwill of North Georgia for a job and educational fair. Meet employers from local businesses and get information on how to become a future student at local colleges. Resumes are welcome. The job fair takes place this Wednesday from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Decula Branch, located at 265 Decula Road, um, and that's 30019. It's free. It's open to the public. If you have any questions, you can call 770-978-5154. Listen, it's about to be summertime. You're probably looking for a job if school is going to be out. This is your opportunity if you're not in school right now or right after school to go out and, and check out the job fair and talk to the employers and see exactly what you need to do to be uh, to get a job this summer. And that's you, know, you want to work, check it out. Again, that's, that's today from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Gwinnett County Public Library in Decula, the Decula Branch, located at 265 Decula Highway in Decula, Georgia. Going to be job, uh, people out there for the job to help you figure out what you want to do this summer. Okay, a small business, women's business center, SBA Women's Business Center, calling a workshop today, uh, how to do business with the government. Now, this is this is cool, too, because a lot of us want to know how to get government contracts. I'm actually going to an event um uh, Friday about the same thing. I wish I could go today, but I have a meeting. But because I would go to this one as well, because you know there's a lot of information these organizations bring. But 
If you are thinking, if you own a business and you're thinking about how can I increase my revenue for my business, doing business with the government may be one of the ways to do that. And so Ace Women's Business Center is holding a workshop today, how to do business with the government from two to four to answer those questions and to give you the information that you need so you'll be able to do business with the government. And if you're not ready, it's things that you could put in place to get you ready, and they're going to talk about that. So the, present, the presenters today are Mr. Larry Scott from the city of Atlanta. He's the director of contract compliance, um, Ms. Carol Phelps. From uh, Georgia Department of Transportation, she's the program manager. Miss Tansy Hall Jones, she's from the SBA. She's a business opportunity specialist, and so they're going to be talking to you about what you need to do to get ready to do business with the government. You can find out more information um, by just calling the Ace Business Center or visiting their website. His um, they're located at Ace Women's Business Center, 10 College Street Northwest. Northwest, and that's in Norcross. It starts at 4 p.m., 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., so it's, it's a two-hour class. There's a $7.99 registration fee. It's not free, $7.99. <laughs> that's all it is, and that's nothing. Can you imagine if you got a government job, I mean, a government contract, and the only thing you paid to get that information to get that contract was $7.99? unheard of. For more information about this event today starting at 4 p.m., the number can, you can call is 678-335-5600. Again, that number is 678-335-5600. And Ace Women's Business Center is located at 10 College Street Northwest, and that's in Norcross, Georgia. Go out there, find out. Now, you may think to yourself, I don't think my business qualify for a government contract. And I, I actually went to one of these events last year, and I'm telling you, the things that they said qualify for a government contract, I was just shocked because they said stuff like toilet paper, like the, the government has to buy it from somebody, why not you? Ink pens, you know, promotional items, if you have printing companies, the government has to buy it from someone, why not you? Consulting services, I'm a media person. so I And, and so what I do is I talk about I talk on podcasts. I develop internet TV channels for Fire Stick and Roku. You know, there may be some use for me. I do video marketing. I do podcast marketing. So I do all these things. So it's it's in my best interest for my business that I go out there and find out, okay, where do I fit? It may be a seminar. Believe it or not, you may have something to offer. You may not think as much, but you may be able to, uh, uh, if you, let me tell you something. If you know about customer service, that's a seminar you can offer, certification programs. You may create programs. I was in a meeting yesterday, day before yesterday, and um, there's a young lady who's in the financial industry, um, financial industry, and she has a great program that she's putting together. So she's putting together a whole program to certify people to do what she do. Now, here's the thing. She can certify that person through her program, but she can also license that program to the government. So there are things that you could do. You, if you have a program, you may think it's nothing. You know, you may have a youth program that you've been running for years. The government may say, you know what, we want to run this this program somewhere else. How does it work? Well, you put the you put the information together in a nice package and you sell a license to that. So you may not think that your business is uh government worthy for contracts, but you are probably wrong. And I would invite you to go out tomorrow and check out the information and um and, and just and just see if your business fit, I'm sure it's something there. You may not think it is, but it's something. There's also an event tomorrow that I am signed up for, but I cannot make because I'm signed up for two things tomorrow. But it's the American Express Summit, and they're talking about the exact same thing. It's downtown Atlanta at the – it's not the Western. I think it is the Western. But anyway, go online and Google American Express Summit in Atlanta tomorrow, and they're going to be talking about the exact same things, how to get government contracts. I've known people who've gotten government contracts, and they're doing very well. I was at an event two months ago, and a woman said she got a government contract that was worth $1.5 million. So I'm going to let that marinate for a minute. $1.5 million. Don't think your business may not qualify. Go out there and get the information so you don't have to guess. You'll know whether or not it qualifies. So do that. We'll be right back. <laughs> I can't see 
I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the rundown around Gwinnett today and what's going on. I was supposed to have Chris on today talking about money, but he had a doctor's appointment, so he could not be here. However, perfectly, he'll be back next week feeling fine and ready to go to talk about how to create your financial destiny. So since he's not on today, I'm going to talk about five reasons why you should use a co-working space. Now, I've used co-working spaces before. I think they're a great way for you to get outside of the house. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown about five reasons why co-working spaces are so cool. Okay, so one, they're cheaper than owning a – they're cheaper than having a, a full-blown office. Here's the thing. The co-working space that I use, their fee is $139 a month, Right called the Cornerstone in in, um, in Lawrenceville here. I've used them before, and when I started, though, it was $99. So over the last six years, they've increased their prices, rightly so, because people love the place. It's centrally located. It's right downtown Lawrenceville. It's beautiful. There's restaurants around, so if you want to just walk out, get something to eat, and come back, you can. The thing about that was it was cool because you get to get out of your house, reason number one, you get to leave the house. Reason number two, you get to be around other people who are – similar to you because they're there working and, and the energy is so cool. Like the energy is so great. And when you're a solo entrepreneur and you work from home, you need to leave your house sometimes. I know we get real comfortable. We put on sweats. We don't get dressed. Some of us don't comb our hair. You know, we just get up and go because nobody can see us. But it's really good to get outside of the house sometime and be around other people because you'd be surprised at how your energy increases when you're around people who are doing similar things to you. They may not be in the same industry that you're in, but they are in business. And so you can feel that energy. You see the people. They're walking. You see people doing meetings. So that's another reason. So one it's probably a lot cheaper than having a full-blown office. If you don't need a full-blown office, and I've made that mistake so many times, 
having a full-blown office. I remember the first time I moved into my very first office, it was 9-11. <laughs> Let me say that again. I moved into my office, 9-11. I came into some money. I had a publishing company. The first thing I wanted to do was go out and deck out my office, right? I had an office on the fifth floor in East Orange, New Jersey, on Evergreen Place. Oh, man, you couldn't tell me nothing. It was the nicest thing. I had a suite. You know, I had a receptionist. I had the whole nine. I had, and I had a lot of overhead. And I was a brand new business starting out in publishing. I was getting all these transcripts. People were sending me all these, these, because I was doing publishing. So I was getting all these books and transcripts. So it was cool for a minute. But then 9 11 happened and freaked me out. Now I had all of this overhead. I'm scared to go into my office because I'm on the fifth floor. You know, I'm thinking somebody's going to hit my building. I got this big old rent bill. It was crazy. And so you would think I would have learned my lesson that time around, but I did it two more times. After, I did it three more times after that because I just really wanted to have an office because I felt like I could work better from my office space than I could at home because there are, even though my, my daughter was grown in her college at the time, and it, there were still distractions at my house. You know, because I could easily just leave my computer and walk around and talk to my mother and, you know, watch television, all that crazy stuff. So I didn't see, you know, owning a, having an office space was a thing for me. The other thing, too, though, back then, they there weren't no co-working spaces. You know, there was no, you could go and pay $99 for the month and just hang out with other entrepreneurs who are doing their things. So you get to be around people. The overhead is tremendously small depending on which which um which co-working space that you use right you get to have some work life balance you get to have work life balance so you can do work while you're there if you want to and then you can go home and have life and put work behind you i mean that, that's that's important too because you want to make sure when you're home, you're home physically and mentally a lot of times as entrepreneurs especially solo entrepreneurs we are not home when we're home we're on the business move you know, and so you don't want that. So it's it's low overhead. You get to be around other people. You know, some of them give you 24 hours access, like the Cornerstone, depending on your membership plan, you could be there 24 hours that you can use. You get to have conference rooms that you can do. You get to, you know, you can host events there. I mean, it's just, and, and the Cornerstone is gorgeous, but there's another one that I visited too um, in Sugar Hill called Sweet Spot. And I, it was really quiet and cozy, but the same thing. So check out these two places. If you're in Metro Gwinnett somewhere, uh, I mean, if you're in Gwinnett somewhere and you're looking for some uh, co-working spaces, there's the corner, the Cornerstone located at 259 West Krogan Street here in um, here in Lawrenceville. And you can also check out Sugar Hill, the sweet spot in Sugar Hill, and they have, you know, their fees may be a little bit less than um, a little bit less than Cornerstone. And they're located at 4988 West Broad Street in Sugar Hill. Um, and here's, here's the other thing. If you decide at some point, you know what? Okay, I don't want just a hot seat because, you know, the, the desk are called hot seat or hot desk, which means you don't own a space there. You just go sit down wherever you sit. But a lot of these spaces have office spaces if you need them. Like I was at Atlanta Tech Village last month and no, well, Atlanta, Atlanta Technology Parkway in Norcross. You talk about a beautiful space, that space is gorgeous and it's huge. It is huge. And it's a co working space, but if you need an office there, they got office suites all around. They have a podcast studio, which you know I was excited about because I'm a podcaster. Um, but it was great. You get to do seminars, you get to attend seminars, you get to attend workshops. A lot of the people that work uh, work inside the co-working space. They do seminars and workshops. You get to network with people. I mean, I, the list goes on and on why I think co-working spaces are good and five reasons you should think about using one. So, you know, it's up to you. But if, if I were you, before I even thought about jumping into that hot water of um, of having an office space, I would think twice because that's a lot of overhead. Not only that, you're still going to be by yourself. If you don't want to be by yourself, I would say you know what, think about something else. Um, think about a co-working space. And even if you decide to get an office inside a co-working space, you're still not by yourself. So listen, I'm going to one more song. This is going to be our last song for the day. Well, maybe not, maybe one more. I'll be right back after this song. I heard you say you feel alone.
things going on around Gwinnett and beyond. Listen, there's a workshop today at 1130. I don't know if you're going to get a chance to make it. Hopefully you will, but it's called It's Time to Spring Clean Your Life. Oh, my God. How does that sound? It's three sessions, three six minutes. 360 minute in person coaching sessions. It's going to be located at the famous Toastery at 1120 Peachtree Industrial Boulevard and that's Suite 214 in Swanee. This 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 program is is sponsored and hosted by Carly. Now I'm going to mess her name up, which I normally don't do, but Vavrinic. Vavrinic. Carly Vavrinic. She is the one who is facilitating this program in conjunction with the Gwinnett Women's Small Business uh, Group, and they're going to be talking about how to spring clean your life, like helping you create some new daily success habits to support you in your goals and live life going forward. That's important. So if you can make it, check it out. It's a 21-day program. It's $45. It's not free. Um, but you can attend. It's limited to 20 people, so I don't know if they have space left or not, but you might want to check it out. You can contact Carly by calling her at 518-669-8431. She is the owner of Sova Inspiration Coaching, and she's doing a workshop today at 1130 to 1230 at Famous Toastery, located at 1120 Peachtree Industrial Boulevard, uh, number 214, and that's in Swanee. Go on out there and get yourself together. Spring is a, spring has sprung. Now it's time for you to create some new success habit. Get rid of the clutter in your mind. Make sure you're on point with your goals and dreams. We're still in the first quarter of the year, so it's still time for you to, you know, I know we probably set some goals at the beginning of the year. You know, we set some some um, resolutions and new goals. Here's the time you want to do a checkup to see where you are. I, I'm so happy with myself because I have done some amazing things. And I'm not bragging, but I'm just saying I've done some great things. So go on out there and check out this event today if you can. All right. There's a Course in Miracles coming up. 
the reflection of holiness. There's another event today from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. If you uh, ever heard about Marianne Williamson, she has a book called A Course in Miracles. They're going to be doing something tonight um, located at ACI, ACIM Study Group in Swanee. Swanee got a lot of stuff going on tonight. 875 Scales Road in Swanee, Georgia. They're going to be doing something about A Course in Miracles, and that's, again, that's at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. tonight. Check it out for more information about that. All you got to do is go to um, go online to meetup.com and type in A Course in Miracles, and you'll find more information reflecting whole holiness, um, and it's hosted by John Dobson, 7 to 8.30 p.m. tonight, ACIM Study Group in Swanee, 875 Scales Road, Georgia. All right, listen, people, that's all I got today. I went a little long today because I wanted to see how well I was going to do with a longer version. So I'm glad I got a chance to talk to you. I'll be back again tomorrow. God willing, to next time, make a great day. And if you missed any episode, go to goodmorninggwinnett.com and check out past episodes. Bye for now, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in daily at 9 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you miss an episode, go to www.goodmorninggwinnett.com to catch up. If you like this episode, go ahead and subscribe to the show now and share it with your friends.